Hi everyone, this is uh, Sean Tucker giving another update on Tucker uh, 34 here at Ida Automotive. The car has uh, been taken apart quite a bit as you can see. Uh, the whole engine and transmission has been removed, all the suspension has been removed. Rear fenders were taken off the car, rear bumper, so that uh, we can do get access to kind of all the different parts and pieces that need to get fixed or, or move around or uh, in some cases cut off and put back to the original tire. So we're going to give you a little overview of some of the suspension work that's going to take place both in the front and the rear. Uh, Tuckers have pretty unique suspension setups. So we'll go over kind of what they look like and what they look like now and, and what they, they'll turn back into. The next step here on the rear side is, uh, is going to be partly getting the suspension back to its original Tucker configuration from the modified version that was added because of the failure of the torso elastic suspension. So when you see back in here, this is where the engine would normally sit. This is the transmission cross member, and this is where the torso elastic unit would normally bolt on, and then you have a control arm there, and we'll take a look at that in a second. So this car has had some retrofits done. Uh, you can see on the frame, they've added another mount here for a shock that was added to have a coilover spring on it so that this, the car will essentially have a spring since the, uh, the rubber torso elastic doesn't work anymore. And then they also added a second set of coilovers where the normal set of shocks would have been, which would be here, and then there's a shock arm that comes off of the torso elastic. So this will all go back to having the torso elastic rubber unit here, and there'll be the correct Tucker style shock in this location, which is where uh, how it's supposed to function. And then all of this stuff will be removed and refurbished back to how it should look on a, on a normal Tucker. So this is one of the torso elastic units from Tucker number 34. Um, you've got the torso elastic spring, which sits uh, kind of transverse in the car, and then the control arm mounts to that. What happens on these units is that the inner and outer rubber becomes separated, and the car loses really completely its suspension function altogether and will just kind of fall in the bump stops. So what we're going to be doing here is we're going to retrofit a uh, set of torso elastic tubes that uh, Mark Lieberman from Nostalgic Motors makes and restore the torso elastic function back into the, into the Tucker suspension here. This mount also is uh, another piece that's added from a previous modification where there is a coilover shock. This is the other end of the coilover shock mount. So this piece will have to come off of the torso elastic and then the new, new barch wall won't mount just like the originals and mount back up, uh, up here in the car. And that should restore the rear suspension function on, on this car. So the front suspension works in a very similar way, uh, a little bit different configuration, the tubes run a different direction, but uh, we'll uh, give you a little overview of that as well. So this is the front suspension all removed on Tucker 34. Uh, what you would normally have here is it's a little bit, the setup a little bit different in the front. The torso elastic unit bolts on back in here, and then you've got two control arms that come out and there's a shock that actually works between the two control arms rather than being uh, attached to the body. So it's a little bit different, but uh, more conventional of a setup, I think, up here than, than in the rear, you know, given the, uh, without, or with the addition of the torso elastic. So up front here, what they had done is they actually mounted a spring to this perch and then had that act against the lower control arm to accommodate the front suspension function and allow it to at least work somewhat. The problem is that there's so little travel here and the spring was so small that it, uh, it held the car up, but it doesn't really do a great job. So this will all get restored back to its original function with the new horse elastic tubes. So that's it for today with Tucker number 34. We're going to keep making some of these videos to document the progress that we're uh, gonna make on, on getting Tucker, Tucker number 34 back into uh, kind of usable condition and especially back to its mechanical operations. So if you like what you see, please subscribe to our channel. It's Preston Tucker Speed Shop. We're also on Facebook and Instagram at Preston Tucker LLC and Rob Ida Concepts and Rob's at Rob Ida, at Mike Tucker 48 and at Sean Tucker 48. Thanks for watching.